Hi, I'm Gabrielle. And I'm Polly. And this is a miracle on 56 Rodney Street. So I'm a permanent makeup artist and I carry out treatments such as microblading, ombre brows, combination brows, and lip blush. I've been tattooing for around seven, eight years now. And I've been doing permanent makeup for about a year and a half. Um, I do lip blush, lash line, enhancement, and tattoo removal. Oh, I do that too. Yeah. <laughs> I actually learned from that. <laughs> so, uh, we know each other from... Um, Holly has actually attended three of my courses this year, and I actually only held four in total. A um, <laughs> little bit obsessed. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but a funny story, actually, I originally messaged Polly um, around six years ago and I literally only just told her this information about, about five minutes yeah. ago <laughs> um, and I asked her if she would be interested in me offering her a free service and I would tattoo her lips and her eyebrows for free and she ignored me. Clearly I'm <laughs> she never very seen bad me. at looking at my messages otherwise I definitely would have come with my eyebrows done. But I actually messaged her years ago um, and then what do you know, years later, I actually did get a tattoo of lips for it and she's attended all of my courses. So my favourite thing about the permanent makeup industry is that it is ever evolving and there's always new treatments and techniques, products, um, lots of different things always coming out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just I love, you know, following all the different techniques on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I also love that it helps people with their self-esteem, their self-confidence someone's got an insecurity, whether it be a medical thing or just like an insecurity in general, permanent makeup can help with someone's confidence. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's really great. So being a permanent makeup artist during the Christmas period is hard work, um, back to back clients, hardly any breaks. But at the same time, I do love having a little Christmas catch up with my clients. Um, and it's just nice to have the salon full for Christmas? No, it's chaotic. I have no life. I don't see my friends. I don't see my family. I'm constantly hungry. I'm constantly tired. <laughs> but I still love my job. <laughs> so my favourite thing about Christmas is the fact that it is really busy. Even though it's hard work, I do get to see all my clients before Christmas and it's just a good vibe in the salon. Um, but then I am enjoying a nice break with my family and just to overindulge and eat what I want. How much time do you give yourself off over Christmas? Uh, in between Christmas and New Year. Really? Yeah. I give myself three weeks. Oh my God. <laughs> deserve it. <laughs> that is the present I give to myself. Um, but also I actually do really enjoy the run up to Christmas. It's quite exciting. I like to speak to a lot of my clients and you know, ask them if they're ready for Christmas. And I have a lot of generous clients. I get given a lot of gifts, mainly food. <laughs> so that's obviously amazing as well. The clinic literally looks incredible. Um, Gab's put so much work into making it look so Christmassy and festive and it looks like you put a few few hours into it. <laughs> no, it took around 10 hours to actually complete the entire place. Um, I think the tree alone took a good chunk of that time. It was around six or seven hours. Had a couple of meltdowns, but it's Christmas. <laughs> So with Christmas music, I usually start playing them around the end of November. But then <laughs> by the time it gets to the second week of December, I am a little bit sick of Michael Bublé and Mariah Carey. <laughs> I'm more of a Christmas film type of gal. I prefer the Christmas films um, over Christmas songs. So I actually have like a, a television in the, in the waiting room. So I'll play The Grinch, Elf. That's, that's more up my street rather than songs. 
So my plans for 2023 are to train up an apprentice so that she can actually take a load off for me so she can do a lot of my treatments and I can then put my focus into doing a lot of online training videos with my courses rather than just in person. I'd much prefer for a lot of things to be online so it's available worldwide. And in 2023, I will be watching those videos. <laughs> and I'm just excited to continue doing lip blush. I feel like I'm still learning every single day and yeah, just building up my client base and just keep learning. Thank you guys for watching. It's been such a good day here at Gabriella's clinic. I've really, really enjoyed myself and I hope you all have a lovely Christmas. Thank you for watching and a Merry Christmas from me too and a Happy New Year. It's Christmas! <laughs> <laughs>